Hello, I'm Brett Knowles from PM Squared Consulting. This video is the unboxing of the Sustainability Scorecard. As a quick reminder, the Sustainability Scorecard brings triple bottom line reporting to day-to-day -day business decision making. We've recorded several videos that describe setting up the Sustainability Scorecard. And this is the last in the series where we can begin to see what that looks like inside of a software application. Now, there are many ways to visualize the triple bottom line. The one that we prefer is a visualization called the sustainability strategy map. And that's built as follows. We should be able to describe the triple bottom lines, what the company needs to do, what society needs to do and its impact from the business and to the business and the environment. And again, the impact of the company on the environment and vice versa. And the idea is we want to understand the flows back and forth. Now, the best practices about reporting performance in an organization comes from such tools as the balance scorecard. In the balance scorecard, we add four more perspectives for a profit oriented organization its ultimate goal is financial success. To achieve that, we need to make our customers happy. To make our customers happy, we need the right internal processes and projects, activities. And then finally, to build and maintain those processes, we need the right people, competencies, culture, enabling structures. So these are the six perspectives in the sustainability strategy map. And within that, we describe the goals that we need to achieve. So in this case, overall for society, we want to improve society at large. Financially, of course, we need profitable growth. And for the environments, we want to make sure our products new, do no harm, either in their creation, use, or disposal. So as opposed to the triple bottom line, this shows us the triple top line. And then we describe the rest of the organization's strategic goals as a cause and effect hypothesis to achieve those triple top line elements. Again, to learn more on this, go to our previous videos. Now, based on this, we can take existing metrics from inside the organization. Now, there are many sustainability frameworks out there, such as B Corp, uh, UN's Strategic Development Goals, uh, Integrated Reporting, uh, Global Reporting Initiative, and so forth. And each of those informs us with their desired metrics that we would add on to the strategy map. And of course, the idea would be we show red, yellow, green based on how we're performing against a comparative, let's say target. So that's where the previous video stopped off. We've chosen to use ClearPoint Strategies cloud-based balance scorecard application because it has the functionality that we need for this and the chief of which is allowing a metric to roll up in multiple hierarchies. In other words, I'd like to have a metric that I can roll up and see it in terms of my company strategy map. But I'd also like to be able to roll that up as only seen through the SDG 17 goals or as seen only through Future Fits 21 business goals and so forth. So the idea is we can take that same chunk of data and select out of it or filter different metrics for these different views. And that way I can use one software tool for whatever dimensionality or view you would like to take of the data. So that's the end of the stage setting. Let's go to the unboxing ceremony. So we're now looking at the strategy map inside the ClearPoint strategy solution. And what we've done is we've added in metrics against each of those objectives on the strategy map. Now this allows leadership team to see an overall view of how we're performing. So for example, we can see that we're meeting targets or expectations around provide great value. We're slightly below on innovate our product offerings and I4 improve operations and significantly behind in I3 anticipate customer needs. The benefit of this is it allows leadership to get above the detailed operational data and get a big picture view of how the organization is performing. Metaphorically, I think of this as like a 30,000 foot view. Think of looking out the window of a jet airplane at full altitude. You see a broad expanse of the horizon 
not a lot of detail. You can figure out if I'm over a mountain range, an ocean, or the flatlands, but I can't make out individual cars or houses. So that 30,000 foot level, and allows organizations to decide how they might want to drill into that data. Now, this is how I think the senior leadership team should run their meetings. But again, you can choose your own type of view. So for example, we find many organizations like to use what we call a perspective or category view. So again, remember we've got these four balanced scorecard perspectives plus society and environment to make the sustainability six perspectives. So I could choose to take a look at it by category view. So if I click on that, what I have is for each of these categories, for example, customer, what are the strategic goals or objectives? In this case, be the vendor of choice and improve customer well-being. And then within those, the specific metrics that we have associated with it. So mathematically, these metrics roll up to this objective and that in turn rolls up to the perspective, if you'd like to see. And we have these for each of the six perspectives, financial, customer, internal, people, environment, uh, and society. Now, again, it's important to note that we've set these up based on our model. You could choose to call these categories and objectives anything you would like. It's merely a parent-child relationship between these. And what this allows us to do in the leadership metaphor is drop down from 30,000 feet down to 20,000 feet. Now I can see a little bit more detail behind each of these strategic objectives and begin to figure out what does it mean in terms of our operational decisions. So let's say we want to drill into more detail. I'm just going to click on, um, I don't know, what's an interesting one to take a look at. Let's do water withdrawn from various sources. So if I click on that, I now go down to metaphorically the 10,000 foot level. And again, these are dashboards that we've created. We have a series of standards that we use to deliver consistency across all of the charts. So for example, the targets are always shown as a line, uh, whether I'm looking at my uh, future fit long-term goals, you know, the, the back casting view, uh, best in class, my this quarter, my this year target, my last year target. Those are always lines. Area charts, of course, shows a volume consumed. So in this case, we're taking a look at the total volume consumed, in this case, from safe sources. Um, in this case, we're looking at water consumed in total. The blue is from safe sources, and the off-red is uh, water withdrawn from stressed regions. And so we're not saying it's good or bad. We're merely giving you a visual representation of the data. And again, we can show these in various formats. In addition, it allows us to do things like include in what's a description of this objective and measure so that we all agree and understand where the data comes from and how it's to be used. We have an analysis of what's gone on in this period. We can link it to initiatives. And of course, we can have the detailed data. So the idea is this allows a 20,000 foot view of the data to begin to understand what's causing different things to occur. So that's a recap of what I'm going to call the default 20,000 foot view. Again, it's all customizable around how your leadership team would like to see the data. So we can drill down. Let's go and take a look back at the objective, which is operational inputs do no harm. And if I click on that, I can now see the associated measures. And again, it's the same principles we talked about before. You know, the line always tells us the target. Area chart tells us amount consumed. Here you can see that we've got uh, targets that tell us both the total material usage target and what the in, uh, industry standard is, as well as what we've consumed. So these charts allow us to explore each objective. And we can even take a look at other data. So in this case, maybe there's a project or initiative linked to this. In this case, increase the amount of recycled materials. And if I click on that, I can get a standard project view, Gantt chart, milestones, dates, uh, again, details about the project and so forth. And so the idea is the leadership team sitting at their desk can naturally explore all aspects of performance. 
And this becomes important because what we're trying to do is help the organization understand that the triple top lines are all associated with each other. And as we take a look at performance, it should be one single conversation, not separate conversations for performance and a different meeting with different people at a different time to talk about the environment and society. Now, the framework that we've shown you is in the context of the organization strategy. But as I said before, instead of looking at those six perspectives from the sustainability strategy map, we could use your favorite framework. So for example, maybe you're a fan of UN's uh, SDGs, the Sustainability Development Goals. What we can now do is have those goals and then within those, the specific measures in this case that SDG recommends. Again, it's important to note that this is the same data we used in the other views. We've merely shown a different parent-child relationship, so I can link it up to SDGs. Now, we've noticed for some large corporations, or even ones that have complex stakeholder environments, different stakeholders prefer different frameworks. So we can have the strategic framework through that sustainability strategy map. We can have SDGs. Uh, in this example, we can use a third one, which is using the future fit business goals, which allows us, again, to see the goals as seen through future fit and the benchmarkable measures that they use so I can compare different businesses against those 21 goals. Again, each organization is going to determine their own view of their preferred way of seeing the information. The job of this sustainability scorecard is to be able to present the data in multiple formats, multiple levels of detail, and eventually drilling it down to the team and individual level. So as a team or individual, I can see what my contribution has been to sustainability. You know, what my purpose is, I can track my progress and make sure I'm mastering it. I can socialize this with my teammates. I can see the progress to share and be proud of. So that's a quick overview of the unboxing of the sustainability scorecard. We hope this has been interesting to you and we look forward to helping you implement your sustainability scorecard in your organization based on your existing data. If you're interested in a customized demo, or a walkthrough of how the sustainability scorecard might fit in your organization, please reach out to us by email or phone.